Hadi, and welcome back. I know this uh, lesson's been going on for a bit, so we'll hopefully wrap this up quickly. So to dynamic structures, um, let's just decompose what this means. So dynamics obviously going to communicate that some sort of memory is going to be allocated during runtime. There will be dynamic memory allocation involved in these structures. And then structures, we're implying some sort of aggregates of data of some type, usually pointers to other data and perhaps some functionality all encapsulated together. We can link dynamic objects of a structure together using pointers. These connected objects are going to become known as data structures, and a data structures and attributes, as well as its behaviors, are commonly encapsulated together inside a class. And that's what we're going to be doing for the remainder of the week, is taking this sequence of nodes and deriving a type, a uh, singly linked list uh, from that. To keep this short, um, here's one dynamic structure, a singly linked list, where we're going to see uh, we'll have nodes, and then all the linked list behavior, behavior is going to be encapsulated under a single class. And that class will have a data member pointing to the head of the list. It will serve as the entry point into our, um, our uh, dynamically allocated objects that are chained together uh, through these pointers. So that's one. And again, we could always add in that uh, pointer to the tail as well. Doubly linked list. Pretty much uh, very similar to a singly linked list, uh, at least in uh, how you can think about them. These node objects uh, hooked together in memory. However, notice here that the nodes of a doubly linked list don't only point in the next direction, they also point to the previous node as well. Uh, so we'll have you expand a singly linked list and implement a doubly linked list on uh, within one of your MPs. And we'll specify the public interface that we're expecting. And then obviously you'll have the ability to implement um, some private supporting functions as needed. And then we will get into trees um, in a couple of weeks here, but here's kind of the idea of a tree. So you have the structure of a node and instead of kind of going forwards and backwards, you're going left or right, getting into various subtrees. And then sometimes there's a pointer um, even back to the parent of a child node. We'll see here that uh, we're going to encapsulate all the kind of binary tree behavior, at least as this is shown. And there's uh, various different uh, sorts of uh, trees that uh, you'll get into in your data structures course. But typically, uh, you know, all of the behavior as well as the data is encapsulated together within a class. And that's it um, for today's lesson. I hope um, it was productive. Um, and I'll get going on the next one here shortly.